Welcome back, Hunters. I'm the Survival This, and we return to the Hunter Classic. So last episode, we started on Logger's Point, and you can see our kind of linear path of travel. We basically went there to there. Now we're going to be looking to go to the south and see what else we can go and find. Didn't really get that. Um, okay, I feel like it's just my mind playing tricks on me. Yeah, it was. Just how that leaf is there. We're going to work our way southward, see what else we can find. Last episode didn't actually have that much we really got, just one coyote and a couple of pheasants. But it was still enough, I figure, to warrant... Oh, no, actually, maybe we're starting off strong. No, oh, see, it's the pheasants again, but... I wouldn't mind actually trying to get them right away. Just because, again, if I can get an animal, it does make me feel like the episode's a little more... more ah, what the hell happened my poor mouth there? Let's see if we can kind of keep that thing working properly. Ah. If I at least get an animal in an episode, then I'd say it's worthy of keeping. Because there can be times where I just have atrocious luck at actually hunting and I'm not even able to get a single animal on a video, so... I do want to be mindful that there is at least something to see done and watched rather than just making this up. I mean, I admit it is kind of a nice walking simulator at times. But we are here with some things to get done. Okay, I'm going to actually crouch down, because I'm... We had the one pheasant fly off as we were trying to near them last episode. Towards the end of the last episode. So hopefully if we're crouched down, we'll get a little bit of a better chance of taking one of these guys out as they just get in the air. I do think it is a little bit more... I mean, I guess sporting is... Oh, I just... Oh. That was him, I think, flying right over my head, actually. Yeah, there he's going. Now, is there still one over here, is the question. Well, sounds like he's kind of moved a little bit up, but he's still in the area. Maybe he's actually up over the side of the hill there. Again, I don't want to spend too... Nope. Oh, hello. I just saw you flapping there. I just saw the little bit of, like, wings flapping, so I don't know exactly where it is. Yeah, I gotta admit, when it's actually an area where there is some grass to hide in... Peasants don't have a bad strategy in just keeping ducked and covered. My problem is, I don't know exactly where he is, so I don't know the direction it would take off if I try going after it. Well, I'll start going out this way and see what might... Okay. Just saw the color for a moment there. See what gets flushed out. I'm not going to actually use the whistle. Oh, okay, so that's him there. No, no, not you. Oh. Maybe that was what I... No, no, no. Here you are. I think it... No. Oh, yeah. Did... I... That might have actually gotten him. Hang on. Again, it all... It looked like maybe, but maybe not. I'll have to go up this way and actually see. I gotta admit, with all these little red flowers, though, in being, like, close to the ground, it can be hard actually following what's going on with them when they're flying. Or when they're on the ground trying to hide. It looked like maybe he was starting to go down, but maybe not. Oh, yeah, looks like I did. Again, I honestly expect them to do more of a tumble than they actually just seem to glide down. 
but we'll just snag our first animal of the hunt. Got it within about five minutes, so not too bad. And we'll just sell it for the little bit it does. I think I am going to leave pheasant hunting behind, so we'll switch back to the 243 and just be ready with that. Yeah, there we go. Load that up. And got ourselves quite a few forks we could kind of go off of here. So let me take a look. Uh, I think I will keep working down along the south. Nope, got stuck onto rocks. And as I was saying towards the end of last episode, when it does come to pheasant hunting, that does seem to be the my suggestion or advice to them. Is you can try like using the whistle to flush them out, but I think that might make it a little harder unless you're very quick to be able to keep up with like guiding and getting the shot off. Is to figure out the direction they're facing, then get yourself positioned to walk up behind them. So that way when they're flushed out they're actually going to be flushed out more to where you're ready with the weapon to go after them. And I'm kind of tempted if I should... I wonder if I should run a little bit, just so that way I'm out of this area, since I did just... I'm going to. Because I did just use the shotgun there, I'm going to give ourselves a little bit of distance from this spot. I don't think there's anything too close here. And then once we're probably, like, around a bend or two, we'll just get back to regular walk and see what might be around us. So far, we're... Actually, if we can get another animal, that is at least half of the roster already. Actually, is that half the roster? I gotta count the roster now to see exactly what there is. White tail, black... or white tail, mule deer, bobcat, coyote, pheasant, rabbit, hog... Okay, yeah, so that's not quite around the halfway mark. We'd still probably need about two animals, and then we'd at least have half the roster hunted now. I'm hoping, though, we'll actually start hearing some more things like... Oh, speaking of, I'm going to just quickly take this off for the caller. Or the hog squealer. There we are. And just work our way slowly... Well, maybe a little faster down, but just work our way down along the road and see what we might hear. Truthfully, as I'm looking at the map of our surroundings, this is not going to be a good area to really, like, try spotting animals with. Like, the south looks like it's going to be pretty hilly and mountainous, maybe even, like, cliffs. At least to our south area, though, where it's, like, more open... Uh, field and that we might get better luck there but Yeah looking up towards the north there that area looks Fairly dense and uneven, so I don't know how easy of a time we'd have spotting stuff through it Although looking way way out there is again nice little patches of open field in that Seems like yeah, so those are probably more open field areas there, and then we got all this here. I wonder if I should even follow the power lines. Yeah, I suppose I could do that. We are... I don't, I'll just kind of stick to walking along as I have been. Usually it does seem the second half of the episodes come the weekend are a little bit more... Speaking of... Well, I was going to say speaking of. Usually there are a bit more animal life in it, just because, again, we're out of that first initial dead zone. And it feels like the map is almost, like, warmed up and ready for you. And that is just a rock, or... Okay, a tree. Again, it's one of those... Your mind starts playing tricks on you, trying to make up or tries to show you the shape you're looking for, even though it's not really something there. I do just want to take a look out once I get up here, and just in case there might be anybody traveling with her. It's rare, but it's not impossible, so that's why I want to try, just if there is an opportunity that comes up, to take a look at it first. Ooh, that is pretty dense looking, isn't it? 
No, I see her. Oh, okay, so it is, again, just a few does. There might be another one tucked in with them. Yeah, actually, looks like there might, there is a third there. But yeah, oh, yeah, that definitely drops down, basically like a cliff, so... We'll just be sticking to the road for a while. Trying to remember what else might be... No? No, that I think is just another doe track. I think that was the mule deer call. Or the mule deer that we just picked up calling. Yeah, it seems so. Yeah, she's just making more noise. Again, there's not really a male that I saw or a buck to that group, so I don't see a point really chasing that. We're not looking to wipe animals to extinction. We're looking to actually hunt proper, so we'll continue on our way from here. I do admit, I think just to get a little bit more used to using the bow, I'd like to hear... Uh, go after one of the bucks, either the mule deer or the whitetail. That's because they're probably going to be the easiest ones to try getting the nice vital shots with. And also, again, it's the best practice I can think for coming back after so long without actually really using or being good with the... Actually, I was never really good with the bow and arrow, but I, str I tried, damn it. I tried, even if I failed. Let's see. No, well, we do have rabbits in the area. Well, maybe. I shouldn't say we do, because there's no telling how far... Oh, they might actually be from their tracks. Kind of tempted at this next bend to go... I feel like I actually might be better off just going out and actually looking having a lot more field of view than just how this limited kind of walk or roadway is. Like, I can't really see that much off the sides. To the south is that pretty... You know what? I think I'm going to branch off and follow the power lines more. There's a chance I might have better luck spotting stuff, too. I even get coyotes and we can see about cashing in some really nice GM out from them. You know, just slowly work our way along. Not really seeing too much out here, but again, we just broke... Ooh, actually, you know what? That area up ahead there was looking pretty nice from a distance. Oh, what do we got here? Is this more rabbit? It is. Although, not going the direction I thought it would. Oh, actually, a lot of tracks here. This might give me some idea of where exactly... Oh, well, there's level two up for the tracking of them. Okay, I see they... Given me that this is pretty old tracks. And be honest, with the direction they're kind of going, it's taken me... Eh, maybe I'll follow this for a while. It is kind of going the same direction I'm aiming for. Although, again, it is... Oh, just you again. Again, they are... Kind of going all over the place for, like... They are absolutely kind of nuts for where they're all trying to go. Oh, Lord. Okay, so these are... Ah, uh, see, they don't seem like they're... as if I'm going reverse of direction they're traveling, though. I just heard that. Now, I don't know if that was me scaring one off, or it was just a little bit of movement from one. 
There was definitely something just a little ahead that sounded like a little bit of thumping. Or, well, not a thump, more just a little bit of running. Or skittering. Scurrying? Something was nearby here. I don't exactly know... I feel like it might have actually been a rabbit. I'm just going to keep low for a while and see. Okay, so we got more mule deer tracks. And we do have rabbit. But this is a bit of a mess to try finding anything in. I also don't know how skittish the rabbits might be in comparison to, like, the European ones. No, well, that I'm pretty sure is just a mouse. Yeah, that's just one of the little mice that's kind of an ambient animal on the maps. Alright, okay. It hurt a little bit, but now I have nothing else I'm hearing. And they don't... I don't think they really make calls to be able to pick up where they are. See, this makes it seem like it's pretty far out from where they might be. No, oh, Coyote? I'm going after Coyote. These guys I should have better luck with. Like the rabbits, maybe if I can spot them a little more in the open, I'll have better luck. But trying in a place like this, which has so many, like, little things they could hide around, I think I just have no luck there. Okay, so I, again, switch this out for this. There we are. Let's reload you. There we are. Okay, so we should be set to try getting for this one. And before I do try to call in, I'm going to just get into a better shooting position first. Get a visual on what I'm after, and then see the best place to try shooting from. And another little track there. Okay, actually, you know what? If it's looking like this, then I think I'm good to try calling in. So I don't know exactly how, how far out it is. Nope, you're south of the field lodge. Find one feral hog track, complete objective one. Okay, so I guess it's just go across the map and find hog tracks in certain zones. Doubt I'm actually really going to be able to do it this weekend. Well, definitely not, because we didn't even find one in field two. Well, we'll wait here for a little bit, because the coyotes... It seems this call is incredibly good for foxes, coyotes, just bringing them in and making it a lot easier to hunt them. Oh, speaking of, I think... No, I think that's a fallen tree. Again... Oh, but there's somebody. Or was. Oh, and back again, maybe? Oh, it seems like it's kind of trying to come this way, but it's getting blocked by something. There you are. You just trot your way down. Let's see how you're looking. Jeez, you know what? I am I'm going to have better luck spawning it using the freaking snipe or er, using the rifle. Yeah, I really am. No, she's actually Okay, can you stop for a moment, dear? No, oh, 
actually wasn't trying to scare rabbits out, but now that I know there are some up there, it's actually going to give us an opportunity. So we'll go collect you and then slowly work our way up after those bunnies. Yeah, we'll just collect you. How are you looking for score? Quite a bit lower than the other one. Ooh. Actually, it wasn't quite a vital shot. Although it did take her down pretty quick. Sold for nothing quite as near as the other one did. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if that was just a very good first coyote I got or what, but we'll go after the rabbits next. They did just go hopping down this way, and I'm hoping if I just, again, go slow and take a little bit of time and get these guys without much trouble. I think the hardest part is they might like to go to places on the map where it's very hard to see them, like... Well, speaking of, there is pretty tall grass around here, but... We'll just see. We will see. Yeah, so they were running up this way. Okay, not going for pheasants, though. No? Is that something over there, or is that just like... Okay, just fallen trees. Okay, so... How difficult is it going to be spot rabbits from here? That's going to be your question. It's actually a pretty good question now that I'm looking about. Because unlike uh, Call of the Wild, they don't really call or make thumps against the ground to give away their position. I also don't know how far off they would like go running. Well, at least I'm able to find the tracks rather reliably. That still says fleeing, but now, again, this is... Do you go off the cone of travel, or do you kind of more... See, I don't know if that actually is cone of travel... Or not. Looks like it might just be outside the line of it. Well, we'll slowly go along until we see them starting to roaming, and then, or trotting, roaming, or something like that. Thought I had seen Rabbit there for a moment. I do see one. I'm actually going to get you ready, and we'll slowly try to get to that little ledge. I shouldn't even call it a ledge, it's basically just the top of this hill. There you are. And let's just spot you. It is a female, so I don't know if it would actually give me any GM. But on the same token, we do need to hunt a rabbit, or it is on the roster to hunt, so... See if you can get in a little closer. Just because, again, the shotgun is more of a close... Oh! Mission completed! Ooh! Jeez, I think she lost more blood than there was actually in her. Well, we got ourselves another animal, so that is another 
part of the roster hunted down. Yeah, she took a lot. Head, neck, left front leg, body, right hind leg, right front leg, left ear, right ear. She definitely got herself quite the amount there. Eh, not too bad for an amount either. Sell for 35. Oh, and pump action shotgun skill got up. Up to level 3 with it now. I'm guessing there's probably nothing really left in the area since I did just use the shotgun. Uh, you know what, maybe I'll toggle that and go for a little bit of a jog just to see. And I was hoping to use the bow this weekend, but it seems like that might not happen. Just trying to think of if there's anywhere I should, like... Let me take another look. Um, you know what, I might try going more towards the tower. There has been the trend that there usually is at least an animal around the towers. So maybe heading that direction will give me a chance for something. Even if I don't use the bow, I think I can use the 243 on the mule or even the whitetail. I think it's powerful enough for them. I think... I know it's not strong enough for the feral hogs, though. That's where, again, I thought, you know what, let's take the Reeker bow out and see how I can do with that. Uh, oh. Is that a doe? Looks... No, it's... I think it is a doe. I don't think I'm really going to try for her, but we'll see if she's got anybody she's traveling with as we get closer. Right, at this point, if I do have another coyote call, I'll definitely try calling that in and... Oh! Wait, fleeing? No, there was actually a hog not too... around here not too long ago. I wonder if I got scared off by either the shotgun or me just running to this area. Don't really know. There's the objective met. Okay, no, just a rock. Again, it's when you're trying to see certain animals or certain shapes, your brain puts them everywhere. Uh, let's see. Yeah, tower's there. It doesn't seem like it's just her all on her own. I'm trying to get... Yeah, definitely a doe. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, from this distance you can kind of see the outline of it, but not quite whether it be male or female yet. So just wanted to make sure. Ah, do do do. I am very close to my time limit. Or should I try for that pheasant I heard? Hmm. Might. You know, let me take the pheasant caller again. I'm. I prefer to go after the bucks more than the does, so we'll try to. See how far off this is. Actually, on the other side of the... The other side of the tower, but I thought I heard a little bit of something from around here, too. Now maybe it's just me walking. It might have just been me walking and I stepped on a twig or something that made it seem different than usual. Yeah, you know what, we'll try going for these guys quickly. It's just like our final animals. And then I don't think the pheasant caller is actually able to, like, draw them in. It's more just you call, they'll respond back so you get an idea of their location. 
I think that was something that I got told in the comments. No, yeah, so there's her just running off. So they probably aren't too far out. The question is, do I go for the airborne or just take an easy ground shot? Uh, I might just go for the ground shot because we are at the very tail end of, like, video length. I really do want to get that channel up further so that way I can say, let's put the money in, let's get, like, streaming and be able to do longer hunts. Okay, so where are you? Actually, I'm kind of surprised. They're pretty close to the tree line down here. Might actually be in it. And I will crouch down again. Oh. Right, that. Switch over to that and that. Kind of glad I realized that now, then a little bit later when I'm about to desperately need to use the shotgun. Oh, kind of felt the little crick in my arms there. Okay, yeah, we should be coming up on them in just a moment. Now, just a, a lot of does, but I haven't heard or seen a single buck on this outing. That might actually be two. I think they're both females, though. But it looked like both of them were starting to descend after that shot, so maybe I managed to get the two in that. Oh, yeah, if there's already that there, then that's one for sure. I got both. Probably just going to be females, so that's nothing too impressive, but it's kind of nice to see that I was able to get them just at the end here. So, let's go and grab you. Oh no, that was actually a male! Oh, huh, maybe I'll trophy shot these guys. Nope. Oh, kinda freaking out a little bit there. And that's 25 pheasants actually gotten. Um... Oh yeah, we'll go for the weary pose. And we'll just... Ah, uh, where's your head? I prefer to... Well, I said head, not ass. Come on, you. Let's bring you up like... No, I guess kind of like that'll do. Sort of. Let me put you there. If I just grab the head a bit better. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you. Always nice when you're... When they cooperate with you. Yeah, I thought that was both females. Maybe it was a male and a female there. Yeah, it seems to be the case. I don't think I'll take a trophy shot of her. Yeah, we'll just resume. Nope, oh, there we go. I was trying to figure out, wait a minute, where's my prompt to? Okay, and with that, we're going to wrap up this episode of the Hunter Classic. Thank you guys for joining me on our first week at, or weekend at Loggers Point. Next weekend, we're going to be going to the opposite end of the reserve and working our way down south again. But, pretty productive. That gives us coyotes, pheasants... And a cottontail hunted. So we got a little bit into the roster. Hopefully we'll get some bigger game going up north. Thank you guys very much for joining me though. If you have any questions, comments, or tips or tricks, be sure to leave it all in the comments right down below. I try to respond to any questions or feedback as soon as I can on the channel. And hopefully I will catch you in the next video or episode. Until then though, survives on Hunters. Please remember as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy hunting.